Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzzWorld.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. I have to apologise for my terrible voice at the moment. I'm a little bit ill, like I said in the videos that came out yesterday, so yeah, I apologise for that. I refer to the original article for this review just to give you something more precise as I usually do, so I hope you enjoy. Anyways, we have a brand new song review for you today, and it's the Run The Jewels latest track, Legend Has It. So going into this track, I'd never really heard anything by Run The Jewels, and still to this day, after this song, I really haven't heard much by Run The Jewels. But what pulled me into listening to this one in particular is the amount of coverage it's getting on all platforms where I see it all over YouTube trending at the moment as well as on Facebook, Twitter, all the social medias as well. I'm just seeing it everywhere at the moment. Not just the coverage, but the huge amount of praise critics are giving them. Obviously, The Needle Drop gave it a really good review, I think, this track in particular fairly recently. So, obviously, some major critics are actually giving them some, some, some real props uh, out of the blue, really. I didn't even realise that this record was coming out so soon. I, I'd briefly heard of them before, but I'd never really listened to anything in their discography. So I thought, why not? It's a slow music day today, and it is. It hasn't been very much posted today. So why not give something new a while? So should we really see how it went? Well, it's okay, but I think people are tooting its horn perhaps a little bit too much. I thought the trap beat and synths were a little un unoriginal, to be honest, and a bit of dime a dozen is what I used as a phrase. But the vocal performance is pretty good. I will admit that the rapper has a great performance on this track. Each phrase was delivered with accuracy and attitude. It's certainly better than what's out there on the market at, the, at this point in the year. Obviously, December is quite a dry month when it comes to new music and... Uh, Rap-wise, rap the last two months has been pretty dire, with the exception of Common's new track and some J. Cole tracks. Everything else has been a little bit quiet. But I still do think people are perhaps being a little too generous to this track in particular. Production-wise, the song is pretty strong. The beat is deep yet wholesome. Each end of the mix is covered well, and there aren't really any gaps in the stereo field. It sounded like a nice track. On these big speakers I have, it just sounded nice, to be honest, which is a little bit more than could be said than a lot of the rap tracks that have come out this year. Everyone seems to be going down this sort of dream poppy approach, and it doesn't suit them whatsoever. The rapper sounds beefy and powerful in the mix, and he never gets swamped by the rest of the instrumentation. I think the synth sounds, as well as the samples, lack a little bit of life, but that's personal opinion to me. One of the better mixed rap tracks of the year. I, I, I did say that in the original article, and I still stand by that. The musicality is okay. I mean, it's not a banger, at least not to me anyway. I know a lot of people are saying that this is like one of the biggest bangers of the year, and to me, it's just not much of a banger. But it has its moments. The syllabic flow of the rapper helps contribute towards the strong style feeling, like I mentioned earlier. He has a great performance on this track. But the song doesn't really progress or go anywhere. The start has the same amount of force as the end. There isn't a climax and there isn't a real bridge. It lumbers around a little bit with the occasional hot line, but again, nothing particularly special happens in my personal opinion. I just think if you compare this to something by Mr. Traumatic, he's an MC over here in the UK, or Alliance and Alexis, who appeared on a Chris Gresswell track last year, it doesn't really hold up to the intensity or creativity, and they're what I consider bangers, you know, these ones that are really high octane, Quite unique and different to the rest of the crowd, but really get your blood pumping. I never really saw, I never really felt like that when listening to this track. I mean, it's powerful, sure, but I never really wanted to go out there and beat up someone or anything like that. This track is more of just a beefy rap track, nothing more, nothing less. Lyrically, the song is okay. There aren't any super significant moments that got me excited or smiling, but there weren't any moments that where I really winced or wi or cringed at all. So it, it, the lyrics are pretty good in my opinion. Functional is the word that springs to mind. All in all, an okay rap track that has been blown really out of proportion, in my opinion. I'm excited to hear the rest of the, the album that comes out very soon in the near future. I think it's either December or January. I haven't actually looked it up yet, but I I've heard that it's coming out very soon. But I'm expecting a little more in comparison to this. It just about reaches the green zone for me. So I gave this one a G rating of 6 out of 10. I do apologise for how strained my voice sounds and how monotone I sound at the moment. Usually I put a lot more life into these videos, but I'm very ill, so I do apologise for that. So if you if you like this review leave a like subscribe to see more like i said links are in the description down below and i'll see you around next time bye bye